you've all learned uh, in school, in middle school, that water has three phases, uh, solid, uh, ice, uh, liquid, and, and vapor. Well, we uncovered a fourth phase of water. It turns out that there are unexpected applications to this. The first one is getting energy from water. The way this water forms is, is very simple. Whenever water meets hydrophilic material, by hydrophilic I mean water-loving, it undergoes a radical transformation. That We were astonished to see this, that the water molecules are actually lining up with one another in some ordered fashion. Like a liquid crystal, if you will, it's H3O2 particles, and later we found molecules, are progressively excluded from this zone that was sitting right next to the surface. We also call it the exclusion zone, or EZ for short. This fourth phase of water is not neutral. Typically, it's negatively charged, and the water just beyond it is positively charged. And as you might guess, if you stick um, two electrodes, one in the negative, one in the positive, you have a battery, and that battery can light a light bulb, for example, and we've demonstrated that. And we found, to our great surprise, uh, we really didn't expect it, that the input energy comes from light. We found that infrared light, that is the longer wavelengths, are extraordinarily powerful. Infrared energy is coming from, from all over. It's free, it doesn't cost us a nickel. And it's water, so it's renewable. So we think that it's possible that we can scale up this finding and make it commercially available. It could solve many of the energy problems of the world.